our state, of course, preparing tonight, and that includes areas that are prone to flooding, including Annapolis. Our team coverage continues tonight with Kelsey Kushner. She's live in the state's capital with what is being done ahead of Isaias. Kelsey? Yeah, Denise, Rick, the city says that they are prone to flooding out here today. They handed out free sandbags and opened up centers for people who live in low-lying areas to stay safe. With a tropical storm barreling up the east coast, the city of Annapolis wants to make sure they're prepared. One by one sandbags were packed by business owners and residents hoping to keep out any flooding Isaisis may bring. Monday, the city of Annapolis pushed for people to remove their boats from the water and secure them on land. The city's Department of Transportation opened Hillman Garage beginning at 8 p.m. Monday night for people who live in low-lying or flood-prone areas. And the Office of Economic Development was deemed a recovery zone for businesses to store tables, chairs or umbrellas that might not be tied down. Acting Mayor Rhonda Pendel Charles says with the possibility of storm surge, she wants everyone to be ready. Residents should know that this is uh, very important, that it's critical that they are prepared. And we're asking our residents to uh, make sure that they have and restock their emergency kit. Now, the city is also urging people to put out their trash cans by 6 a.m. tomorrow morning and then immediately bring them back inside. That way they're not blown away by any strong winds. Reporting live here in Annapolis, Kelsey Kushner for WJC.